Right, man, he, uh, he's gonna make that possible, man. It says, Now therefore, behold, uh, the cry of the children of Israel has come unto me. I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. All right, just like they oppress our people here. I'm saying they want all the shit that they got instead of just being happy with what they got you know what I'm saying you can't always get the best shit man but you can try to you know what I'm saying get decent shit you know what I'm saying but they don't want the decent they want the best they can't even afford it so what people do they wait the tax time to get the best but you gotta wait a whole year just to get it you know what I'm saying that's that's that destroyed by exactly the next year. by the next year you're trying to get some new up to date shit you know what I'm saying you're trying to keep up with people you can't keep up with, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, it says, uh, it says, uh, come, it says, come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of, e the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto Yahweh, who, who, who am I? What I should, what, uh, who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, certainly, I will be with thee. Right, and the Most High is always dwelling with the prophets who he bring, who he's, uh, who he has out doing his work, man. The Most High is with them. Like he's with us when we out here, and he's with the ones back in the ancient. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is dwelling with us, man. And that's why it's hard to come up against people like us, because we have the true Heavenly Father, the real, the only. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, it says, it says, and Moses said unto Yahweh, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And and he said, Certainly I will be with thee. It says, certainly, I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I will, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve Yahweh upon this mountain. And Moses said unto Yahweh, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you. And they shall say, and they shall, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And Yahweh said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, have sent me unto you. <laughs> and Yahweh said, Or over unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord Yahweh of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. God of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. It says, uh, right, he is who he is. <laughs> that's, you know what I'm saying? He's the, He's the Almighty. So that's it. I am that I am. That's who he is. He is who he is because he's the power. He's almighty. Alpha exactly. And Omega, right. You know, and like all that. I mean, don't get no clearer than that. Uh, it says, go and gather the elders of, of Israel together and say unto them, the Lord Yahweh of your fathers, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you and seen which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said I will bring you up out of the affliction of, e of Egypt unto the land of the of Canaanites and the Hittites and the, An the Amorites and the Perchites. And, and, uh, and the Jebusites and the Hivites. I mean, I'm slacking. 
It says the Persians and the Hivites and the Jebusites unto the land, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, and they shall hearken unto thy voice, and thou shalt come, thou, uh, thou and the elders. Thou and the elders of Israel unto the king of Egypt, and ye shall say unto him, The Lord, Yahweh of the Hebrews, have met with us, and now let us go. We beseech thee three days' journey into the wilderness, that we may surface, uh, how do you say that? Sacrifice, slack it, uh, that we may sacrifice to the Lord our power. And it says, and I am sure that, and I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And that's what's going to happen this time. That's what the Most High. He like he like doing that. He like making that suffering. right. He like he like making that grand entrance. He like people to see what's what you know what I'm saying. What type of what he about to bring to the table? Because <laughs> they think they got something for the Most High. Uh uh uh. You know what I'm saying? With they little Iron Mans and all these bullshit technology machines they making little androids and shit, uh, computers and robotic fucking kangaroos and horses and all the bullshit they making that they think can take out the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be an idiot. I think we take it the most high, man. Uh, I'll start at 19. It says, And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. And I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And I shall come to pass that when ye go, slack you. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, he shall not go empty. Right. He's going to take them goods, man. And that's the same that's going to happen this time. We're going to get them goods, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything they did, we're going to do it. Plunder them and spoil them, man. You know, plunder them and, and get all they spoil, take all their goods. Cause we don't need it. We gonna burn the shit anyway. Everything gonna burn in this. Right. This shit ain't you know, worth nothing. Gonna, this shit ain't gonna, nothing. We gonna all the gold down so they can build their fucking houses with this shit. Right. Like this shit is like what is here? I, it's because the the elites they got that pure gold, man. They got it. You know. We gonna go down in they little dungeons, underground, outer space. They got some out there too, hiding. We're gonna be out there and we're gonna take all your goods, man. You ain't gonna be able to hide. You can't hide from your house by some young shot. Right, he see all things, man. Niggas is insane. I'm telling you, y'all think we insane, yo. We get people all the time, yo, I heard y'all bugged out now. Nah, you niggas is bugged out, man. Cause you niggas is, is, is your, your, your minds is, is closed, man. You niggas is simple, man. Like, like the scripture says, how long will you have simplicity? Right. Like y'all simple minded people. Y'all don't think past the level of the TV, man. You know, y'all y'all remember that think outside the box is, is a good a good fucking saying, man. Think outside that TV screen, man. Think outside that radio. You niggas let that shit speak for y'all. Whatever the celebrity says, man, that's what you niggas do, man. You niggas is all coon ass niggas and you niggas is followers, man. But you're not following the right people, man. You know, it's niggas is following Satan and, uh, and the white man thinks uh, and the white man push it out to let you think and to give you the laws to tell you that the shit is okay because that's that's how you people go by the laws everything is by laws so that's you people feel bad about the laws when you break certain laws of America so that's why you motherfuckers is, is cool so y'all like oh I don't want to go against their law but they law go against the most high law you niggas allow the white men have more authority over over what the most high have to say. Because we don't stand up. When the white man makes their rulings, we just go with it and agree with it because that's because that's the weakness within us. Because we want that shit ourselves secretly. 
you know, not everybody. Well, certain law depends on the law. You know, all, you know, the homosexuals want the homosexual law. You know, niggas that eat pork, they not gonna say, oh, we should ban pork. Pork should be illegal. You should be fucking put there. That, that should be illegal. Pork should be, according to the Bible, man, that shit should be illegal, man. They used to have niggas on a block back in the ancient pitching pork. Instead of crack, it wasn't crack, niggas was pitching pork on the block. I got some pork chops, niggas was still doing wicked shit. Niggas used to get put to death and beat and killed for shit like that, man. That's what niggas was trying to pitch. They wasn't pitching weed and, and, and crack, niggas was pitching pork on the block. <laughs> Word. That, you know, that shit should be illegal. Pork should be illegal, but because the white man loves it, remember, they got that new Little Caesar commercial with the bacon wrapped pizza. Oh well, yeah, that's the law. Yeah. The law says it's good. Right. The their law, man. The white man's law. But the scriptures say you're not supposed to eat that shit. Uh, and that shit crazy because yo. That I hate pork, that fucking commercial. That man. pork so cheap, but that beef so expensive. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the most expensive meat really is lamb, son. <laughs> lamb. You get a small ass lamb. You get two, they they serve you two small lambs. For fucking twenty dollars, man. You are paying ten dollars for a, a, a small piece, man. We had lamb another night, forty dollars for four, man. That's ridiculous. And I'm talking about small. But that's the type of thing. That's the type of thing they do, man. They, they make the stuff that you ain't supposed to have cheap, because they know people gonna buy it because it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? You know niggas struggle a lot. So what they gonna go for? They gonna go for the cheapest thing that they can get in their house. It's gonna feed their family. So if this pork is the cheapest, they gonna go for the pork. A lot of them love it any fucking way. Cause when yeah. you tell them now you're not gonna eat all, oh, I can't right. give up that pork job. I love pork. I love me some pork. Acting like a coon nigga. <laughs> I love me some pork. I can't let it go. Shut the fuck up. Right, you can't let it go. That's a, they can't let it go. Wow. How you can't let something go? <laughs> You can, you can let anything go if you want. At the most, you know, really, it's, it's up to the most high. But you know, if you want to stop, okay, if you want to lose weight, but you're going to go to the gym, you're going to stop eating as much food and go to the gym. So, why you can't stop eating pork if you know that it's not good for your body? You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to stop eating pork because it's good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, okay. What's good? What's good? Everything that looks good ain't good. That pork definitely ain't good. Jeremiah 16 and 9. It says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will cause, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness and the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And this shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words and they shall say unto thee wherefore have the lord pronounced all this great evil <laughs> right 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 and we telling them the most high about to destroy this happy go lucky american yeah. place the house of mirth the house of joy <laughs> yep. you know right girl niggas everybody getting married all this bullshit going on everybody happy this is not our rest as the Israelites, yeah. man. Right. What y'all say? Oh, where that said? That ain't happening for another hundred years. And not then, on my time. Then you, then you Fuck got, out of here. Then you got motherfuckers saying, uh, you know, well, well, well I want to do this. I want to do. I want to do this before the world ends. Well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this. We gotta make money before the world ends, nigga. What the fuck money gonna do for you at the end? Can't pay the Bible say that money ain't gonna get you into the kingdom. So, so. That's can't. That's not doing nothing for you, man. 
Oh, I want to go on a cruise before before shit get bad. What the fuck is a cruise? You gonna go on that cruise and that damn ship gonna sink? You right. see how you see how many planes and fucking boats coming up missing already? Why the fuck would you want to get on a boat or because a plane they, anyway? Because they they still in this world. Man. You know what I'm saying? Why would you want to get? Why would you want to risk that shit, nigga? I ain't getting on no plane. I ain't getting on no boat. I ain't getting on no train. If I can't drive, fuck it. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, it's okay, right? Exactly. Well, but at least, you know what I'm saying? I feel more comfortable if I'm driving. I don't want nobody else driving. It says, uh, this is Jeremiah, uh, six, ooh, it's getting nippy. <laughs> this is Jeremiah 16 and 9. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, God of Israel, behold, I will cause to cease out of this place. In your eyes and in your days, the voice of mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of bridegroom, and the voice of bride, of the bride. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt so show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore have the Lord <laughs> pronounced all this great evil right. against us? Right. We showed them the scriptures. They said it ain't about to happen. Right. That's exactly like, what they like, say. Like it's like it's clear we read it to them right in their face and they still be like, no, right. no. You know? Oh man. It says, or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our power? Right. They don't think they're doing Right, they don't think they're right. right. They think everything is all good. Because sin is fun. So they think it. Oh well, it's I know it's wrong, but it's not so bad. Maybe I can wing it. Ain't well, no. I get, and if you, a young mind is oh. Right.